Oh, man. Have you guys ever had a job and that lady goes up to the counter and she's like, I want to talk to the manager, you, you motherfucker. I want to speak to your damn manager. Well, I found the lady. I found the lady who does that kind of thing. Uh, she is Yvonne Burton. She, uh, you know... I don't want to dox her. I hope she doesn't like put her personal info. This is her website. I mean, it's called Red Pill Centennial. I was like, oh shit. I hope she's not like a red pill female because that's like the most beta female you could be. It's basically like, oh yeah, I know my boyfriend like beats me and treats me like absolute dog shit, but that's my place as a woman. I mean, that's like the red pill. That's what it's like being a red pill woman. Uh, she says, and may there be blessings upon Chernovich and his family along with prayers of protection. For those of you who don't know who Mike Chernovich is, he is a conspiracy loon who uh, was essentially the guy who cooked up the whole Pizzagate shit. So thank you, Mike Chernovich, for that crazy Pizzagate shit, which has sort of morphed into, uh, you know, just all the crazy deep state conspiracies we see nowadays so thank you for that um msm will prefer perform verbal gymnastics in order to not mention mike chernovich's name even though without him this epstein arrest would never happen oh sure sure <laughs> it's fucking mike chernovich's uh you know he's a hero ladies and gentlemen just because there's pedophile rings out there doesn't mean like, uh, anybody can say, Oh, there's a bunch of pedophile rings out everywhere. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, eventually they're going to find one because there are. It's like if somebody said, yeah, there are murderers out there. And then somebody gets killed. And then Mike Jernovich is like, see, I, I told you. I told you. That's basically what this is. This lady is a female chud. It's It's embarrassing. But why am I even talking about her? Why am I talking about her? Well, let's read her about page. She says, For the, all of uh, you who have followed and read the Miss South Centennial, I thank you. I've changed the title to Red Pill Centennial in an effort to switch gears and delve into more hands-on journalism and doing more to preserve this republic. Once upon a time in our history, there was a dedicated ragtag bunch of patriots who pledged together their lives, their fortunes, and their sacred honor. They fought a war because they wanted to live free or die, and also keep slaves. Uh, they they fought a war for us, uh, not for not for the black people. They didn't fight a war for them. <laughs> as as John Adams said to Abigail, I don't give a flying fuck about what that little uh, tiddly winks John Adams said. <sighs> this is just some conservative fucking boomer shit so why am I even mentioning this lady well it's because of this story this was posted like two days ago by WREG staff it says Memphis Tennessee a Memphis high school removed a painting by a student from a school's walls after the principal received a threatening phone call the school district said a threatening phone call is probably from some child like oh I'm gonna shoot your school up because you show a picture of my god emperor of all humanity trump you show a picture of him and he's me he's not me like oh like all oh, the concentration camps and stuff that's all just fake news trump's a great president how dare you disrespect my president how dare you and they call us the snowflakes they call they call us the snowflakes ladies and gentlemen it's all projection it's all projection on your part the painting in question depicts donald trump with his mouth covered with the statue of liberty covered uh covering her face with her hands southwind high school has displayed a student-made painting since the 2016-17 school year but it stirred up controversy when it resurfaced on social media recently it's once again like it you know, the only controversy was when this lady went around and shit posted it. She said, one Twitter user said, 
If your child is attending public school, he is being inundated with propaganda like this mural that greets students at Southwind High School in Memphis, Tennessee. How is this okay? Alright, first of all, how is this any of your fucking business, Yvonne Burton? This was produced by a, a, a student who was within her right to draw what she wanted to draw. It's not like it's depicting violence. It's not like it's, you know, and because I know what they're going to say. Uh, oh, if you want to allow this, you should allow uh, paintings of people like lynching uh, Obama or something like that. And, and that's a false equivocation because that would be... The, the painting of the Obama lynching in, in this example, it would be like a direct call to violence. Like, there's no call to violence here. It's just stating a fucking harsh reality. Start to bust your fucking little bougie bubble, Yvonne, you little snowflake. But it turns out that immigrants and uh, minorities and, and uh, anti-fascists feel a little bit threatened by Trump and his just overwhelmingly fascist impeachment on our rights but uh you know so how is how is that okay how is what anything trump is doing and his uh dummy supporters are doing how is that okay so said shelby county schools have said officials have decided to remove the artwork for students and staff safety i'm not mad at the school I'm not mad at the school, I'm not mad at the staff, because they're trying to keep the school from being shot up by some crazy fucking chud with an AR-15 and a bulletproof vest. You know, he, 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 he runs out of tendies, he uh, is an incel, he can't get laid, and so he just decides to lock and load, go to this high school, he shoots the mural up, and then he just unleashes on the rest of you. It's horrible. So I mean, it's it's horrible. This is the this is the state that the United States are in. You have to fear about the retaliatory violence from these white supremacists. You can't even have a high school art picture. You can't even have a high school student make a little mural to be hung up in their high school. I would like to see the uh, the racial demographics of this high school as well, because. There's lots of schools, especially in Memphis City schools, that are predominant, pre, bleh, predominantly black. So it's like, you want to talk to me about how that's okay? Well, ha, how would it be okay if there was a mirror? What, are they supposed to just glorify Donald Trump? Are they supposed to salute the dear leader when they come in every single day to the school? You know, it's disgusting. Of course they're not. Like, of course they're not going to have a favorable uh, view towards Donald Trump. First of all, it's a great painting. I would want, I would buy it. I would want to hang it in my room. Or, uh, you know, preferably I'd want to hang it where people would see it. Uh, but uh, SCS said in the statement, The district respects our students' right to free speech and expression. We encourage our students to express themselves through art or in any other peaceful manner. Once again, this was a peaceful painting. All it did was trigger the little snowflake Yvonne Burton. It burst her little snowflake bubble. Ooh, poor baby. They criticized uh, Daddy Trump. They criticized God Emperor Trump. Boo fucking who? It's like white people problems, man. It's like, yeah, people are going to badmouth your fascist orange man-child clown president when he acts like a fascist orange man-child uh, man clown. Uh, since there's been no controversy surrounding his painting, he's been on display at Southwind High since 2016-17 uh, school year, and sco the school administrators haven't received any complaints or concerns related to this artwork. This fucking busybody fucking soccer mom busybody decides oh my god <laughs> okay this uh the soccer mom busybody decides to just uh <laughs> get her stick her fucking beak into something that's none of her fucking business she gets all triggered Ooh, they made a they made a, a painting that i don't like boohoo fucking baby Alright, who's, who's the cultural fucking 
who 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 is the one who is trying to like impose their culture? They're always like, oh, liberals are trying to impose their values on us. Well, you are trying to like impose your fucking views on everybody else by telling this girl in this high school, got to take down the painting, dude. You've rallied up the chuds. You rallied the chuds up to your side. You fucking Mike Chernovich fan. Uh, maybe she's part of the whole gorilla mind thing. I mean, this looks like a fucking gorilla mind post. Look at this fucking banner. This is after the great flood when God destroyed all living, <laughs> all living except Noah's family and the creatures on the ark. God sent to Noah. All right, that's one hell of a preface. First of all, she's got the rainbow back there. So I am assuming that this is in support of gay people. I'm assuming that she's pro-LGBT, which is kind of confusing, but <laughs> it's just funny. Like, God destroyed all living. Like, Jesus Christ. What? All right. First of all, God's not real, but if he was and he destroyed all living things, why would you worship him? He sounds like a fucking maniac. <laughs> This bow in the sky is a symbol of the covenant I make between me and you for perpetual generations. I shall no more flood to destroy all flesh of the earth. Flesh of the earth, that's that's a weird fucking phrase. The bow shall be in the cloud. A token, I will look upon it and remember the everlasting covenant between me and every living creature of all flesh. Well, that's good, God. That's good that you fucking remember not to genocide the entire world. <laughs> you dumbass. I mean, holy fuck. What a cra- what a crazy God. What a crazy God this lady- what a- what a crazy God she serves. What a crazy God she serves. Alright, I'm gonna get PTSD flashbacks to my- Christian upbringing if I fucking start singing those fucking songs. Anyway, that's what a chud looks like, ladies and gents. Uh, the disgusto. Disgusto. Uh, yep. Disappointing. <laughs>